Before you call me a hero, you need to know I like to talk about what no one wants to talk about. Today I was chilling at a barbecue just trying to fit in when I leaned back, dropped my wallet and exposed my tin badge, that is. The guests got a little anxious when a brother to my left decided he needed to know, hey, Popo, you ever gonna tell us that you're five I turned to my friend and said, no. Because the worst moment of my career was when your wide-eyed grin flattened with fear and your jaw clamped so close your lips look locked and you forgot that I'm human and I want to vomit when I think of cops in projects beating blacks in cops in trailer parks beating whites in cops in barrios beating Latinos and tell everyone knows the names Rodney King and Amadou Diallo <laughs> Does anyone here know that of all the cops in this country, less than one half of one percent ever discredit their oath? I know that comes from a government study and the numbers are low, but it's a better percentage than the clergy, yo! Oh. Still, I don't care what the numbers are, there are still too many, because it only takes a few bit of brothers in blue, a one damn fool in Inglewood to bury the good deeds other cops do. That's why I became a training officer. I could train my rookie right. I could grab him and say, listen, it is not us versus them. It is you and me serving this family. I call community. And if you're bad, so don't eat and take it right now, don't agree. Get a new job. <laughs> Most people like that last part, but so easy to assess blame without inspecting our own hearts. Let's look at your bias and mine. Has it soiled our minds or strapped our souls to a faulty foundation of fear? Just once, let's cheer a productive slogan like no more excuses. Tonight, the sins of friends and forefathers stop. You are not the black man who shot me. And I'm not the bigoted cop who beat you down. Instead of insults, glares, and mad dog stares tonight, our community needs us to rise up above altars to ego that feed us fear. You know why I'm tired of tasting my tears? I'm tired because heroes don't cry, and I'm no hero. All I know is that hatred of any kind is the fatal form of an infection called fear. May that be our guide as we try to decide where we go from here.